My name is Pastor Betty Nugeri. I'm coming from Zanin. The problem that brought me to the ministry is the ministry. Our ministry is not going well. We have got some challenges. People are coming, people are going. So at the end of the day, we find that we have few people. Meanwhile, we had many people before. So I saw it as a challenge that needs me to come to the man of God for help. So that's why I came. It was really demoralizing me because when you have people and then all of a sudden you find that people are no longer coming, it discourages. So for me to be encouraged again, that's why I had to come to the man of God so that he can pray for me, so that we can seek the solution from God, go what's wrong, what's going on, and that God may help me to encourage me to go forward saving me. Yes, I met with him. I entered, the man of God said, he see the problem in my marriage first. I've got a challenge in my marriage and I confirm it that indeed we have challenges in our marriages. And he said he will pray for us that God may restore the joy in our marriage. And that joy is the one that is going to help us even to grow the ministry because we'll be standing together with my husband supporting the work of God together. Because when we are divided, it's when the devil attacks. But when we stand together, it's when God will intervene and make his work grow. I confirm it to be true that we are really divided and that's why we are not standing together with one understanding, one heart, even in the ministry. That's why maybe the devil is using that to attack the ministry because there's no peace in the marriage. So I believe that as the men of God have prayed for me, everything now will go well by the grace of God. Amen. I feel very much joyful because I believe that God has intervened in my problem. And he even talked about my children, that uh, God is going to help them. God is going to bless them and they are going to help me too. They are going to take care of me because I love them so much. Even as that uh, he see me giving uh, my child a car, I said, yes, I gave my daughter a car, my car, and the other one I also gave my car, the one who is Miss South Africa 2022. So because now she doesn't have a car, I gave her a car, but he prayed for her that God may open the doors before her that she may get her own things and God is going to bless her. And even the other one is going to be blessed and they are all going to take care of me. And even prayed for my sons that God may help them also to grow into the knowledge of God. And God is going to bless them. And he said, I'm going to come back with a testimony and I believe that I'll be back to testify for the Lord of God. Amen. I used to come while we were still in Tembisa and then one day prophesied that he sees my surname floating everywhere in South Africa. There are people saying, no care, no care, no care. And I didn't understand by then, but last year God made it. My daughter won Miss South Africa 2022. And indeed, everywhere it was no care, no care, no care, no care. So God is good. Whatever he says, he does. Amen. I even prayed for her, said I must give him the picture, then prayed for her so that everything may go well with her. Just like a prophesied, he saw it before, she must also continue in that direction of God. Amen. Amen. You know, I feel so relieved. I feel so peaceful. And I believe that it is well with me, with my family, and with the ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I would encourage people who are going through some tough times where you feel that you don't know what to do, don't be discouraged because God has given us our brothers as we are one body in Christ. As the Bible says, he has given some to be prophets. Those people have been given those gifts for us. So don't be discouraged, but come and get help from the servants of God, those God have prepared for us, just like the Samuel of the old.
people were going to see this year because they knew that there was a certain gift and people were getting help. Just like here in Cheris, I came because I know that the man of God has got this gift and this gift he was given to for us to help us so that we may not get lost when we reach some dead ends where you don't even know where to go and what to do. There are answers that God has given the servants of God whom is using for us. Amen. Jesus. Yeah, bless you.